Good afternoon, YouTube. So, today I last minutely decided that I'm gonna vlog, do a little follow me around vlog. And yeah, today is May 22nd, and it's been a year since I saw Ariana Grande in Manchester. And I have some stuff to do today. And I, I planned on just having a story time video and talking about how everything went and basically how I'm coping after a year because this platform is where I feel comfortable doing so and I feel better talking about it. It's kind of therapeutic to me for some reason. It's better to just talk to it on camera and upload it somewhere where someone could see it rather than just talking to myself. It gets weird sometimes. So I just got out of the shower and got dressed and this little cute, this cute little top. It's really thin material and it has a design on the back. It's a bit strappy. It's cute. I can't really show you. I guess I might as well just talk about it right now while I get ready a bit. I'm not really gonna do much to my face because now nah, it's just a normal, it's just a casual day. As you guys should know, I'm from the Philippines. I'm not from England though. I was in Manchester for two months for my summer holiday. I've been wanting to go to England ever since I was little, since my cousins lived there. Almost 16 years old. It finally happened and we arrived in Manchester on March 26, 2017. It's a longest flight, 16 hours from Davao City, Philippines to Manchester, England. Stopped over at Singapore, had a little chill out there, Changi. We went around Europe. Um, at the start of April, went to London, Edinburgh. But when I was still in Davao, when it was just confirmed that our visas were approved, thank God, I was promised that I would go to a concert while I was there. And I looked up at the concerts that are gonna be held in Manchester at the time that I'll be there, and Ariana Grande was one of them. And out of all the artists that were playing, I stand her the most out of all of them because it was Ed Sheeran, Bruno Mars, The Vamps, and her. And I had to choose my girl Ari. I went and got tickets for her. My tickets were like 90 pounds. And yeah, fast forward to May 22nd, 2017. Before the concert, like the day, I woke up early, I did my makeup, all cute and ready for concert night and I wish I had gone more because the other girls had gone up and beyond with their makeup and I was trying to tame myself and I shouldn't have honestly and we only took the bus to Manchester Arena and yeah it was it was good but I know this is gonna sound like fake deep and cheesy and stuff but there was that gut feeling. I mean, yeah, it happens to most people. You know that gut feeling. I felt that and I was really confused at why am I not excited? Why am I not that excited to see her? Like, I've loved her so much. I've adored her. Her voice is amazing. I wanted to be like her. I still do. Because dude, she's the total performer for me. And I was very confused on why I wasn't as excited as I should be because I love her music so much. But I'm sorry if this blocks the view. You see my embarrassing camera? Hi! Um, you know, I was really confused as to why I wasn't feeling as excited or pumped as I should be. Because that just happens. It was just that gut feeling. Even... When I was already sat in the arena, I still didn't feel it. I mean, it's probably blocking the audio. Still didn't feel that excitement. It was very honestly. It was very odd because I've been to concerts, to concerts of people that I truly stand, and it didn't feel like that. And that was weird. And I guess. Ow, I think I pulled the lash. And I think. 
you know, it was kind of a sign, kind of, yeah, and we were there at around 4 p.m., I think, and there was no line in the merch stand, so I went and got a poster, which is over here. Can you see that poster? Yeah, which is kind of in the background in some of my videos. Oh my god, can balance my camera now. Okay. And so I got that, and then we, it was at the, I believe it's called, it's stolen by the train station, that entrance when you go up to the second floor. It's that one, it's where I went in. And note that that was my first time in England, or anywhere out of the Philippines. So, that was cool being there. And we ate some Greg's, which was I miss dearly, by the way. And took a while for them to let in, let us in. And about like, maybe they started letting us in at like 6 or 7, I believe. And then this is what everyone's calling out, the security of Manchester Arena. I had this big ass handbag. Um, I'm actually gonna go and get it to show you. So I had this, I, this is the bag I had for the entire trip. So you see how big that is? That's freaking huge. And it's so spacious. And this thing was filled by a lot of random shit. It really got heavy. But the way they checked the bags when we entered, literally, I just open it as wide as I can. Yeah, that. They literally just went. Okay, go. Like, I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe I just let it pass. Didn't matter as much at the time because the entire time I was in England, it was real good being there. Just truly security wasn't as good at they should have been better that day. Excuse me while I put on mascara. Huh. I told me for nine minutes. Gonna be fun editing this. Haha. <laughs> and so they let us in. Let us in then we aligned for our seats right after going to the toilet. By the way, I went to England with my grandparents and my grandma's aunt and I went with, wait no, my grandma's sister <laughs> and I went with my grandma's sister to the concert because my, my, my aunt couldn't go with me so she went with me instead. So we were just two people from the Philippines left to go to concert in a foreign country. First time then. Oh yeah, that was the first time. And then it. And so we didn't make a big deal out of the whole security thing when it happened. Like on a day we just pumped it. Oh my god. We're going inside and seeing Ariana Grande. Whoa. So all of that happened. Got in our seats and I was still for some reason, not excited. I wasn't as hyped as I should. As I should, once again, it's that gut feeling. Something felt heavy on my chest. Even if I have no chest, something felt heavy. Felt heavy down there. Excuse the loud construction work because our building, our apartment building isn't really done. Oh, that just looks good. And so, minutes later, ah, the show starts, and that's when they say that the best feeling in a concert is when the artist first comes on stage, and no matter who the artist is, you'll get chills all over your body. I stood up immediately, and my hands were shaking, and I already uploaded that video of her opening act, and I loved it. The show was so good on its own, and... It's really such a tragedy that that night had to end like that. It could have gone a different way. Honestly, not gonna lie, I woke up and started crying. 
people got it wrong because when I came back to the Philippines, they were like, oh my god, didn't it happen during one last time? I'm like, um, no, it really actually happened right after the show, right when she just got off stage. And so, yes, 